All right, guys, welcome back to my channel today. Last week, we went over the Electric X-Peak, and we were saying that the Electric X-Peak and the Moon Cool could possibly be coming out of the same factory. So I looked into it, and um, what I've come up with is, eh, I can't prove it. So um, th there's nothing out there about the parent companies or what factory they're coming out of, so I have no idea. Um, so it's still a rumor, um, but I thought we could look at the two bikes and we would look at the moon cool what it has also um, For features and where I think that moon cool may be going in the future So the first thing is moon cool. I think they're going to be doing pretty good this year They're doing the right thing things they are putting these bikes out to creators the creators are reviewing them they're liking them so they're a very good bike the uh, they're not a new company really because they were doing conventional uh, bikes they were doing a lot of trike bikes but not with motors in them so the company is a bike orientated company but venturing in the motors is new to them or they've been doing it for a while for electric. Who knows? There are other bikes extremely similar to electric. It starts with an A. I mean, uh, the parts fit on each bike. So I know the uh, Expedition and their, this other cargo bike, the, the parts are interchangeable. So there may be, a, it may be a large factory that's pushing out a lot of different brands. So, But to tie these two together, I can't do it. Um, but I think Mooncool as a uh, separate company is, is going to do very, very well this year. They, again, like I said, they're pushing them out to creators. Creators are trying them. They're liking them. I think where they're lacking in the market right now is, first of all, this bike is new to them on the market. One of the, I think they chose to go with this bike because they were looking for something to uh, make them noticed. So they went with this all-wheel drive bike. This bike has a hub motor in the front and a hub motor in the rear. The electric bike has a rear hub motor and uh, that's a big difference in these two. So this bike, Mooncool, is a, you get a total of a thousand watts between this. So it's a 500 watt and a 500 watt motor in this thing. It's 95 Newton meters in each motor, giving it a total of, I believe, um, I actually have it written down. It has 150 Newton meters, which is very, Torquey. I believe I remember this one was 85-ish um, Newton meters, maybe 87, something like that. Um, so this, the Moon Cool is a much torquier bike. So these are mountain bikes. Um, a mountain bike, you want torquey. Um, I've seen this thing the last couple days. Last week, I said, you know, there's not too many of them out there. And now creators have got them out there. And I, I've, so, so I saw two reviews this week just on this bike. The two bikes, very similar. I, I kind of like the looks of the Moon Cool a little bit better than the electric. Uh, the electric's a little more, uh, I don't know, rigid looking. This is swept back. I kind of like that. I... I have my own theory why they did that, and I don't think it was for looks. Mooncool, though, does have the advantage of a second battery option where the electric is not an option at this time. Whether it will be in the future or not, I don't know. I, I have reasoning to think both ways. So the Mooncool, if you look at this frame, it's swept back, like I said. I think they did it for, for, a, a, for a reason. So I want to put a battery right here on this this bike here, a second battery. Um, I'm going to use the auxiliary battery that Electric has. I've already purchased the mount and I've purchased the battery balancer for this bike and the bike's two months away. But I'm planning on mounting it right here and th there's three bosses on this down tube. I don't know why there's three and not two. This one's a water bottle holder here, there's only two. So, you know, water bottle in two different positions on this, you know, depending on how you like it. I don't know. If they were going to do that, why wouldn't they have moved the two bosses up here and then two bosses down here? So maybe they do have something slated, maybe a second battery for this. I don't know. 
Um, this one has four bosses on this bike, but we all know that this one, you can get a second battery for it. I believe they swept this bar back like this so that it gets, they also push this out here, which gives it more room in here compared to this one. So this battery can fit in here better. I believe than this one. This one here, because, you know, like I said, I'm really hoping that the battery will fit in here. I think the battery fits in here much better. There's much more room for it. You can physically see there's more room in here than this. So that's why I think they, they did it this way. This bar is swept up because they pushed this back a little bit, and then they pushed the bottom on a little bit. So, you know, and the other thing too with this bike, like I said, this bike, this company is lacking. They need to come out with a rear hub motor bike, you know, 750, maybe 1,000 watt motor. I'd like to see them come out with a 1,000 watt motor. But they also, if you look at this thing, you could, it almost looks like a mid-drive would fit in here. So maybe they intend on um, selling a mid-drive for this bike. The only thing, if a mid-drive would fit in here, that they would have to do is they just put conventional four inch wheels on this bike uh, with the conventional seven speed, you know, cassette or, or, or freewheel, which I believe it's a freewheel on this bike, and you, you would have a mid-drive bike. So that's a possibility. Maybe they're gonna come out with a mid-drive in this. Like I said, the company definitely needs to come out with a real wheel drive if they're gonna do, if they stuck with this bike and the trikes only, I don't think they do as well. So I'm sure it's in their, um, you know, in their plans to do it. So even if they did a hub motor, so again, just be a matter of one hub motor on the back, they go to a conventional uh, rim and tire on the front, and the bike could be very similar to the same as this. So I'm sure it's in the works. I did look at their trikes. Their trikes all are uh, 500 watt motors. So maybe they went, you know what, we've already got the 500 watt motors, we'll throw one on the front, we'll throw one on the rear, we'll come out with an all wheel drive bike. If they are not a company, coming out of a factory that shares, you know, like electric or something, and there's just a startup type company, it probably would be a cheaper option where they already have these things in stock rather than going out and buying, you know, thousands of uh, 750 or 1,000 watt hub motors. So they start with this, they start, they, you know, build their, their cash capital up and their company's growing and now they can afford to buy the uh, 750 or 1000 watt hub motors who knows but i'm sure you'll see them this is a great idea this 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 second battery that they have for an option um, it's crazy that other manufacturers haven't already thought of this i do know that some of the manufacturers do have allowances within the bike where the controller is for a second battery option but this bike actually has a port on it so that you can plug this battery in. This second battery comes with a wire dangling out of it that plugs into the port. So this down tube uh, holder does not have wiring on it. It just strictly holds the battery. When I put this one on the electric, that down tube holder is gonna have wiring on it and that's how the battery is gonna connect with the bike. So without getting into how I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna end up having to get into the controller area here somehow. But I think I am also going to put a port on this bike, just like they did here. I have one in my cart on Amazon. It's got the XT60 um, uh, uh, connector on it, and it will be able to fit into the frame with a cover on it so that I can run my battery packs on the back of this. You guys have seen my uh, 2288-8 battery packs. I'm going to be able to run it on this bike. I'm going to be running with the uh, 86 point whatever it is amp hours uh, on this bike when I want to. In the meantime, I would always be running with the two batteries on this bike because this bike has limited abilities as far as I'm concerned with that one small battery in it. This is a 14.4 battery, so isn't this a 14.4 battery? But for this 14.4 battery, it, it, how I run, it's not going to I mean, I, honestly, I think it's probably going to get me about 20, I'm guessing 25-ish maybe out of this battery tops. I don't know until it gets here, this this new torque sensor thing, maybe that's going to um, um, make the difference in the battery. I don't know. If you get the second battery option, you're about 1600 and change on this bike. 
that's still pretty cheap for a dual battery all-wheel drive bike so i think they're going to do well with this for the people that it appeals to it would appeal to people that are going to ride in the woods all the time like i said i i, I have an all-wheel drive bike you have wheel spin in the front if you've got it in all-wheel drive this bike does have the ability to switch in and out of front wheel drive rear wheel drive and all wheel drive uh, most of the guys that are riding this bike are riding it in wheel rear wheel drive the problem with doing that is now you're down to a 500 watt hub motor or a 750 peak where this one's pushing 1310 so that's a big difference that's what doesn't appeal to me so that's why i said they have to go with a rear hub motor bike at some point and I'm excited to see what they do come out with in that because I think this company is going to go far. They would sell a ton of bikes if they end up with a bike with that rear hub motor in it, which I know they're going to do. This company has is, is, is not got this huge push on to sell trikes and one particular bike. So I think we're going to see big things out of this company this year. And um, we'll see where it goes. So... I just want to go over a couple things on this bike before we take off. We did the electric last week, so I'm going to um, give you a couple things on this bike. I suggest you look into this bike if you're interested, especially if you're interested in all-wheel drive. I don't know if there's anything on the market at this price point with two batteries on it. So you're getting a hell of a lot on this bike. It does not come with fenders, though. It doesn't come with a rack. You can buy them right now. They're 75 bucks for the rack and the fender kit. 165 for the additional battery kit. It's a no-brainer. That's why I'm saying this bike's 1600 and chain. The bike is actually um, $1,399 right now. So let me go over these stats a little bit with you. It's got two dual 500 watt motors for, with a peak of 13 watts. Uh, I, I don't understand where they're coming out with that. It must have to do something with the dual motors on this bike because you come out with your peak wattage on your motors with a formula. It's a, it's a very simple formula. So it's the electric bike, which is really easy to figure out. So you've got um, 54 volts on this. It's a 48 volt system on both these bikes. But if you're, when you're batteries are charged your batteries your full voltage on your battery is 54.6 now 54.6 for uh, one mile probably if less than that so when you do the math on it you take your voltage your highest voltage and your 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 um, controller amperage so the uh, electric controller on this bike is a 24 amp controller so you multiply those together and you're going to come out with your 1310 peak wattage coming out of that motor. So that's where they get the peak wattage on the motor. So when your batteries are, are, are going down, you're not getting 1310 out of that. Um, so the moon cool saying they have uh, 13 watts peak on this bike. I don't know where they're coming up with that because their control is 20 amps. So if... I mean, the voltage is the same, so they should be at 1310 if they had a 24 watt, uh, a 24 amp controller, but they don't. They have a 20 amp controller. So again, I don't know where they're coming up with this, how they're figuring it out. It must have something to do with the dual motors, but mathematically, it doesn't work out. So anyways, we'll move on from there. So like I said, both bikes have a 14.5 battery in them, 48 volts. Electric comes in one color. I mean, uh, the, the step over is this color and the step through is white. This uh, bike here comes in multiple colors. Okay, the step over, which is that one, has um, gray, red, and green. And the step through has white, uh, blue. So they, they got a little bit more colors in there, which is a little more appealing. So both bikes, they have an 80 millimeter of travel on the suspension forks. They're both seven speeds on the back. They both have free wheels. The Mooncool free wheel is, um, it's at 1428. The, uh, the, the bike is, comes 85% built. Pretty sure they're both about 85% built. Uh, you got to put the front tire on both of them, uh, the handlebars on, uh, the lights on, the fenders on. Um, 
The payload on this bike, the Moon Cool, is 350. I think the electric's the same, or maybe 400. The brakes, both 180. This uh, Moon Cool comes with Star Union brakes on it, which I don't know anything about Star Union brakes. The guys seem to like them that are out there, so I think they're a decent brake. Uh, no one complained about it, let's put it that way. The rack and fenders, again, are not included. The charger is a 2 amp charger. It's going to be the same, probably, charger that um, Electric has. The controller, again, 20 amp controller. They both have thumb throttles, so this one's a thumb throttle too. So again, this thing has the uh, the uh, port on the, for the second battery, which is, you know, why other companies don't put a port on their bikes and sell additional batteries after they sell their bike? I mean, th th these bike batteries are going to last you three, four years tops, and you'll be buying a new one. So if you're never going to get a new bike, and you're going to have to buy a battery in three or four years for these things. So why, you know, if you bought two batteries when you first bought the bike, and then three or four years later, you're still keeping your bike, they would still have a sale of two more batteries for this bike, you know? So, I don't know, maybe they just want to sell new bikes, who knows? But I think the port is super, you know, moon cool. Hey, thumbs up, baby. So the, uh, again, the second battery is 165 bucks right now. Normally, 350 I think it was which is still cheap maybe 329 uh, super cheap for the you know electric ones like 500 bucks for this so the rack and fender 75 bucks I think they're normally $150 there's a one-year warranty on this thing extendable up to three years I think electric has about the same thing the switch which I think I said has you can have this in front wheel drive rear wheel drive or all wheel drive so uh, a lot of the guys if they're not in the woods they're running it in a re rear wheel drive and you can override this bike from the 20 miles an hour up to 28 so that's about it on a bike guys thanks for uh you know tuning in today hit that like subscribe button and uh we'll keep doing content thank you